They, they just feel like the back to back goes after a, after a very extensive time, scrubbing the floors, getting up and down as well. You should get a Swiffer. Swiffer wet jet, because then you can stand while you're scrubbing the floor. I use it. It's really useful. Hmm. It's quick, well, too. We don't, it's have just... a, we don't have that here. No. Oh. Maybe maybe you could sell some of those video games like I was talking about, then you could afford one. Have you have you thought at all about selling any more of your, your games, Chris? Cause, no, cause I, I have no plans of, I have no plans with that at the moment. Why would you wanna hold on to video games that you don't play anymore? I do play them and I feel nostalgic. All of them? Chris, you've got yeah. how, how many hundreds of games do you have and you play all of them regularly? Is that what you're telling me? Regularly, like, yeah, every, like, uh, I'd say, uh, yeah, on a regular basis, I do. Every single one? Yeah. That must, take, that must take a lot of time. Yeah. Is video yeah. game playing backbreaking, too, just out of curiosity? I wouldn't think it would be. And now, but... It's one way for me to relax after I've done, after I have done the work of cleaning a room or shoveling the snow in the yard. Okay, but you only clean once a week, and shoveling, you know, that doesn't happen all the time. I know, I know, Virginia got a snowstorm recently, right? But that that was kind of like a one-time thing. Uh, well, okay, well, just to correct you, I was not talking about cleaning period once a week. You're talking about cleaning my room once a week. And and then we have other, then it's like, on our day, I'll clean up the kitchen, and on another day, I'll clean up the living room. On another day, I'll clean, up the bed, I'll clean up my parents' bedroom. Chris, I've seen the video tour of your house. And, uh, that, that was like, that was like, about, I was like over, that was like over a year ago. Over a year ago. Was it, you, you really, you should film a new tour then, actually. Because people still think that your house is, you know, like a mess like that. I think well, I'll consider that. You really should. You know, right, it'd be a good idea. Chris, here's okay. Here's what I don't get about you. Um, there are so many things like, you know, if, if your house is clean, you could just make a video and show people that. And if you've really been working on the pages, you could just upload that. And if you know, if you wanted to prove to people that you have Nintendo's permission to use Pikachu, shit like that, you could just show them the letter that Nintendo sent you that gives you permission. It's why do you why do you take the hard way through everything? Why do you well, want to keep receiving, you know, demands and questions about this and that subject when one little action on your part could just stop all of it? Because for me, it's not all that easy. What's not easy about it? Like, okay, the but Nintendo... Also, the, also, also, my father's still very angry at me for doing that video touring the house over a year ago. And he's um, a nice two-year-old man. He's very angry. Why, why, was, why was he angry about it? It's Just like an invasion of privacy. Well, how's an invasion of privacy? You live there. I mean, it's your house. If you choose to upload a video, that's not an invasion of privacy. If you try to videotape yeah. people without their consent, that would be an invasion of privacy. But I don't think your parents are in you don't, that. You don't, you don't understand. I, and, I don't, and I forget all the details my father said, but he's still very angry at me for doing, for having done that. All right, well, I, if, if you say he's angry, then okay, that's that. But... Um, what about, um, well, like the Nintendo thing? Couldn't you, I mean, did Nintendo, like, write you a letter saying, you know, yes, go ahead and use Pikachu? Couldn't you just scan that and show that to people? Because everybody, the letter. you, mis you misplaced the letter. it? Yeah. That seems like a really important thing. How could you misplace that? And if you clean your house so regularly, I mean, it seems like you would find things that you had lost regularly. Yeah, it take, yeah. In moving in moving stuff, I had I, 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 the letter went with that stuff, and then that and it got misplaced that way. I'm sure you could just actually call up Nintendo, because I mean that would be you know the legal department of a company keeps records of everything they do. 
they would be happy to just, you know, fax you or send you another copy of the letter. I'll keep that in mind. Because businesses lose papers sometimes, but, and, you know, that, that's why there's redundancy. That's why. And uh, you, not only your fans, you know, but if you showed that letter publicly, then I couldn't demand that you admit Tom to choose a doing franchise. Not could I? You wouldn't, you wouldn't even have to do the reboot. I mean, think about it. If either you, you know, reboot your entire comic that you've been working on for 10 years, that's one choice, or your other choice is you just call it Nintendo and ask them to send another letter and show it to everyone. All right. Destroy 10 years of personal hard labor or show a letter. All right. Well, I will think. I will. I will look. I will look into that later. Um. Okay. Um. This is reminding me of in your recent. Uh, you started updating the mailbags again. Um. Let me take a look at a mailbag because I don't remember the exact phrase, but you responded with kind of a stock phrase to a lot of letters. Let's see here. Um. Where is it? Oh, your letter has been read fully and your thoughts have been imputed, I guess inputted, and accept, accepted for better improvement. Thank you for your time and efforts. Chris, you spend even less time responding to these emails than you do normally. What's up with that? Well, for your information, I should, re I should read and reread each letter before I make a final response. But your final response is, is not thought out at all. See, again, this is kind of an interesting parallel to your, your comic work because you yeah, say that... Yeah, well, you there, say there, that, are Chris, where, there are points where I don't... Chris, let me talk. You don't interrupt me. Yeah. Okay. I will let you speak after I finish this time. This is how it goes. One person speaks, the other person responds, and the first person responds. Okay. Um, you say that you spend a lot of time reading and rereading and really considering the letters, but when it comes time for the final step, which is, you know, the response, you don't really put any effort into that. And that's an interesting parallel to your comics because you say you spend a lot of time drawing and coloring and, you know, preparing your pages, but that final step, uploading them, you don't put any effort into that. So it seems, it kind of sounds like you go 90% of the way but you don't actually finish that crucial last 10%. And just to let you know, people are mad about this stock response that you made. Well, it comes to the mailbag. It's just that, you know, even after rereading it, I still, cannot come, I still could not come up with an appropriate response. So I had to go with a neutral response. Why? I, what do you mean you can't come up with a... I'm, there's a lot of different subjects of these letters, and you give the same neutral response to everyone. Are you telling me that all of these subjects you really can think of absolutely nothing? There are a few subjects of which I come up blank. Yes, I'll admit that. Okay. Um, like... Um, someone wrote you a letter about your comments about homosexuals being bigoted and offensive. And you gave the stock response to that. Um, that seems like a huge kind of uh, Achilles heel with you, is if people mention the word homosexual, it's, your mind goes blank. Well, yeah, of course, I could not think of an appropriate response to that letter. Your comments, I'm reading the letter right now, your comments on, homose on homosexuals are bigoted and offensive. You want them to die in explosions. You want a vaccine for them just because they tick you off. Um, the, the last two parts, those are actually very clear questions as far as I can see. Like, if someone asked me those questions, if someone asked me, do you want homosexuals to die in explosions, I would tell them no. If someone asked me, do you want a vaccine for them just because they tick me off, I would explain, well, you know, homosexuals don't actually tick me off, and I would never want to vaccinate them. I just came up with that right now. That, that would be my response if such a question was asked of me. And that's not even yeah, that well, you know, long of a response. You don't need, like, a, a page worth of response. Yeah, plus, plus I perceived that. Because I perceived 
knows uh, 